Hello, Gemini's gang, gang, gang. <clears throat> so, thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind that my readings are general and may or may not resonate. Take what does, leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, feel free to take advantage of the one question read. I have the information for my readings listed below in the description box. Okay, so what's going on, Gemini's? What can we be looking forward to? A Cancer Pisces or Scorpio coming back to apologize. Mm, it's not a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. This is someone who is just apologetic. This person got bruises. They look like they're about to sing a fucking song. But they look like with this horse, they just came back from somewhere. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I feel like you've been waiting for this person with the three of wands. Okay, let's see. Nine of Cups. I feel like this person makes you very happy. I feel like you want a new start with them even though they walked away from you with the empress could be pregnant or it could be someone that um you wanted growth with why is the knight of cups here why is the knight of cups here the world yeah i feel like this person wants to come back after something you might have ended Ooh, hold on. You might have ended it with this person, or this person might have ended it with you. But they're coming back to apologize. Yeah, they want a second chance. Why is the three of wands here? Ace of Cups and the Five of Swords. I feel like you've been waiting for this person because you love them. But there's just a lot of drama. They stress you out. Why is the Nine of Cups here? But you want to be victorious with this person. This person just runs in and out of your life way too much. Why is the Fool here? Yeah, you still want to manifest this though. You're trying, to, you're trying your best to figure out what you can do to make this relationship better. But with the Eight of Cups here, I don't think it's gonna get better. Let me just check. Yeah, this person with the Devil card and the Strength, they, they hold back from you. They do exactly what they need to lure you in. If you see this person has this person on the Strength, stressed out, they have your soul. This person does exactly what they need to do to keep you. And then they run away because they really don't Wait a minute, you guys. Let me just <laughs> not let me not say that. Wait a minute. Why is the Empress card here? Could be pregnant. Could be trying to grow the situation. Could be wanting to be pregnant. Yeah, but if this is you trying to um, grow the situation, as much as you love the situation, you're going to have to let it go. Because it's not going to be what you expect it to be. Um, if you are finding out that you're pregnant, congratulations. However, this is not going to keep this person still. This person is still going to leave. I feel like this is going to give this person more of a reason to leave. Wow. I'm sorry, you guys. That's deep. Because I feel like the whole time this person just wanted to... To keep you bounded like this person um was trying to have you be a part of their life for whatever reason i'm going to read more into this card however they did not intend to stay with you this person is a player with the knight of wands um why is the devil here why is the devil here spirit the will of fortune six of pentacles okay this person came into your life mm. 
Mm. This person came into your life to teach you something about giving more than you take. This person came into your life to take from you. Sorry, but that's exactly what it was. This was a lesson that you have to have a balance in your relationships. You have to stop being the one to constantly give to someone who is not giving you shit. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Where is this person going? What is this person? What is this? This person, okay. This person is already looking for another relationship. Knight of Wands, the Hierophant, and the uh, Ace of Pentacles could be with the Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. But this person is looking to be victorious elsewhere at this point. Yeah, with the Eight of Swords, I feel like you'll feel really stuck. <sighs> Gemini's. Okay, so what is the outcome here? Spirit said this love is unrequited. You love this person more than they love you. This person is a user. Yeah. This person might use you because money. They might use you because of stability. Yeah. This person is looking at this next person like stability too. Hmm. There's no love here. Besides the Ace of Cups and it's you. You're the one that's giving this person love. This person only shows you love when they want to come back. But they there's no love here. What is the outcome? You're going to still be confused, trying to work on this, but being sad. This person is not going to give you what you want, you guys, because they're already on their way out. What is the advice from my Geminis? Three of Swords, Four of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, um, this is a warning. If you're dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, this person is going to break your heart. They're going to continue to break your heart. There is other people in a situation. It could be three people, could be four, but I have two threes here. The Three of Pentacles with the Three of Swords. This person is, is messing around with other people. And what is the advice, Spirit? What is the advice? You have to move away. You have to look at things from a different perspective. Realize with the seven of swords that this person is lying to you. And everything that you thought it was was an illusion. You need to look at this from a different perspective. You need to go and gather yourself. With the queen of wands, this is someone who's very passionate and fiery and beautiful. You need to exude this energy again. Not with this person for yourself. All right, thank you guys.